Hello? How are you? Good, how are you? I'm really good. Are you having fun in Russia? How are things going? I'm having a great time. They're going really, really well. It's nice here. Yep. I don't, I don't believe the hype. <laughs> what, are the, what are your favorite events you've seen so far? I've been up watching most of the alpine skiing. I went to the skeleton venue and got to watch the, the sliding, some sliding practice. That was awesome. But the best so far has been the men's and women's snowboard slope style. Totally foreign to me. Really fun to be down there with my, my cohort at, at, Fox Sports at Fox Sports Live, Andy Finch, another snowboarder. I'm standing there next to him getting the whole ins and outs of how that whole slope style goes and what the judges are looking for and how big a tricks they're throwing and who the athletes are to watch. And so that was really fun learning curve for me and such a great atmosphere, such a great venue, so many fun people. So uh, slope style was really, really a good time and it was great to be there to watch Sage Kotzenberg win the first medal of the Olympics, first medal for snowboard, for slope style ever. And he's also a hometown native of Park City Mountain Resort where I, I, I have a home in Park City as well. So it was like hometown boy, it was an awesome day. Wow, how cool. You know, I really like the fact that the Winter Olympics offers a bunch of old sports we know and love, and then a bunch of new sports we have to kind of figure out along the way as we watch. <laughs> I know, and I'm glad that you're open to it and fired up about it. I think some of the old staunchy people were like, what are all these new weird sports coming in here? And then, boom, we end up winning our first two medals in them. And so, yeah, they've made a nice splash, and it's been fun. And the best part for me is, is you know, the more the merrier, the more opportunities the kids have to, to come to the Olympics, the better, right? And if they can huck like those snowboarders do, come on, come on down. It's amazing. And they're really good kids, right? They've got good heads on their shoulders and they, they're having fun. The camaraderie with, within amongst the countries is really something to, to, to look at and watch and um, be inspired by, really. You know, they are the epitome of the Olympics, just crushing down all the walls and the boundaries and the barriers that, that our insecure world wants to, to put in place. And those, those guys and gals are just like, Wee, let's have a good time. We're just riding. We're going to have fun. We're hucking. We're going big. Let's see what the judges want. And, and you know, they're smart. They're calculating their approach. They're calculating the runs and the tricks that they're going to do. And they're changing it up to, to, to meet what the judges want. And on cloudy and foggy days up there, it's really astonishing to me what those athletes are willing to do and how brave they are and how big they're willing to go. So uh, that's been fun for me, really impressive. I watched some of the snowboarding events thinking, what sick weirdo made up that flipper? <laughs> Who even thought of that? Because it's so crazy and dangerous looking. You know, when I first started watching the sport, I kind of chalked it up to those crazy video games you see out there where, they, where you're able to just go so big on them and, you're, and if you land on your face, you just get up and go again. I think to some degree, those video games are motivating some of those young kids. But honestly, if you go to like Park City Mountain Resort where I'm from, or you go, to, you go out to, to California, you go anywhere in the country where they've got those parks and you watch those kids, just the average kid, comes up after school, hops on his snowboard, and he's going out and he's throwing those kind of tricks. So um, it's just monkey see, monkey do in the park, and they ride that thing all day long, and they watch each other, and they push each other, and they, they go big, and they're there for each other when they go splat. And um, it's, you know, it, it really is a unique kind of world, but they're right there hands-on getting a taste for it, and you never know. I mean, when Sage gets home, all he wants to do is go ride the familiar park at home in Park City with all of his buddies that he's used to riding in Park City with. And who cares about the fact that he just won a gold medal at the Olympics? He just wants to get back in the park and ride and have fun. And that's what's so amazing about them. And, um, and yeah, I, I'm a little bit on there with you, Fitz. I can, I can hear you on the whole, oh, my goodness, what are they doing factor. But... Um, you know, they're, they're able to do it, and most of them, when you watch them, are in such control, and they've calculated what they're going to do that it's really not that scary. You can kind of relax and just enjoy the show because they're really, really amazing athletes, and they work hard. They put their time in. Well, as a lifelong Floridian, I completely envy the opportunity to play in the snow, but I, I want to ask you because these guys and gals are flying down hills at 50 to 100 miles per hour, and... I can't believe they're not getting injured on every turn, just, you know, ultimately they have elite skill, but you have recovered from a horrendous injury, and uh, what, what are you working on right now? Because I know you're helping athletes recover from these 
you know, serious injuries from flying down hills at 100 miles per hour. I think when you look at the skiing sports, no matter whether it's alpine or it's snowboarding or it's skiing, slope style, or in the pipe, athletes are getting hurt. They're going, they're going big, and they're going in, and they're getting hurt, and they need help when they come back. And that's why I'm so, so excited and honored to be a part of the City Every Step of the Way program. It's city.com front slash every step is the website where you can go participate in the program. I took my 10-year-old. It was easy peasy for him. He just pushed a couple buttons. He was in there, and he was voting for all the different initiatives in there. And these initiatives have been very inspiring for us as athletes, and that's why we're involved and so passionate about it, because there are thousands thousands of Americans across the country that are benefiting kids, American kids across the country that are benefiting from the program and are dreaming of becoming Olympians themselves one day. And I know how hard it is to come back from injuries and I know how sad you can feel and how, how far removed from it you can feel. And when you have a sponsor like Citibank and you have the USOC and you've got the country behind you going, hey, we're here for you, and you have a, a ton of information and awareness that you can get on a website. Um, it really can build a bridge and span that gap between being injured and being back there in the action. Well, it's super exciting to have that. I was a competitive kickboxer for a long time, and I, you know, certainly um, ah. earned a bunch of injuries. Yeah, it was pretty cool, but this is the deal is I always <laughs> tell folks, no matter yeah. how injured I got, the benefits far outweigh the negative. So, you know, maybe parents oh, have yeah. a better a more willingness to let their kids play if they know there is support system and the athletes themselves will be willing to endure what it takes to be the best in the world based on your support. So that's really, you know, much needed. It is much needed and I'm glad you bring the parents up because it is really important for parents to know that there is a website out there where you can go and you can get awareness, you can get injury prevention awareness, you can get equipment information, you can, because in skiing there's a lot of rules about what you can and can't ski on and there's there's different lengths of skis and some of them are, are turning too quickly and some of them are jarring the athletes and it's just, it's, it's neat as a parent to be able to go on there and to educate yourself and to help best guide your child and know that there's there's the security there you can go on you can educate yourself and and then to know for me having my 10 year old on there he wanted to support the Olympians he's like how can I support the US team how can I support the Olympians and so city.com front slash every step boom he was on it himself he's he's probably gone on two or three times since I've been here because I I popped it up on the computer in my favorites and he jumps on whenever he wants to so you know it's really a great way for for the athletes to to know that you're there and to know that you're supporting them to go onto the website and and uh, click on their initiative and vote for it well, we will add the link, Peekaboo. I think it's a great thing you're doing. Have so much fun. And Please do. Kochi, I'm super jealous. Have the best time ever, and I will talk to you again <laughs> soon. All right. Sounds good. Enjoy the Olympics. Bye-bye.